So we are strolling around Le Marais. Apparently it's one of the good shopping areas in Paris. It's pretty, it's a really nice walk here. And right now we're just eating some pizzas at, at Portino. And they charge the pizzas for the ground, which I thought was really different because in Toronto they charge it by the slice. Pizza's really good so far. Okay, so we're at the Eiffel Tower again. This time, we're actually going to go up it. Um, Luke is going to climb it. I'm still on trip. I want to climb it. We're going to try to time it out so we can you know, go early enough and late enough to see the sunset. It's our third wedding that we're seeing in the middle Third one now? There was another couple back there, but this would be our number five. So. Hey guys, so we're just taking the stairs up the Eiffel Tower right now. We're going to go all the way to the top, but uh, some people have always been wanting to do. Not climb it. Yeah, there's no lineup for the stairs. This is great. And, uh, well. Ten euros. We'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Uh, so if we do it, uh, it'd be a bit of an accomplishment, right? I guess. To the first floor. This is what the view looks like. Yeah, it took us a few minutes to get here too. These are like all the tallest buildings in the world, probably. Not the tallest, because the CN Tower is not on here, and it's bigger than the Eiffel Tower, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, so New York, Chicago. Actually, the Trump Tower in the United States is bigger than the Empire State Building. And if you take a look here, this building in Dubai, the uh, Burj Khalifa. I don't know how to use their accent. It's slightly, a little bit less than three times the size of the Eiffel Tower. It's pretty, pretty massive. Uh, it's one in Malaysia, the Petronas Towers. It's pretty big. I'm sure you might want to go see that. And then so many of them in Asia. Asia, I guess, really likes to build uh, tall buildings, right? And then this huge one called Sky City in China. Only built in 2014, it looks like. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I guess they really want to get on the map. I bet you this is where the CN Tower used to be. Actually, most, <laughs> of, these, most of these are in China. Yeah, they couldn't make a room for, for the... Toronto. Where? Yeah, I'm surprised the CN Tower isn't on here. Look like 
little ants. Just, you just grab them, pick <laughs> them up. Yeah. Look. Oh. I'm scared. Oh yeah. Do you guys want to see the second reenactment of my? Balance beam? Okay. Can you hold my hand? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Oh no. Nervous when you like hold it down like that. What if you drop it? Oh, yeah, that'd be tragic. I'd run away. Where? <laughs> These are really cute, but I'm sorry if they're not worth <laughs> nine euros. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. You can hear me, it's pretty windy up here, but I'm just curious, would anybody be okay taking the ladder up the Eiffel Tower? Seems a little, uh, well, not everyone has a fear of heights, right, but it seems a little terrifying. Uh, pretty nice view from the top here. I mean, at the top, uh, on the way to the second floor. Not even close to the top yet, maybe halfway up the Eiffel Tower. So finally made it to the second floor, and that only took about five minutes to walk up. Was it really? Yeah, from the first floor. It wasn't very long. So this is the view from one side. That's um, some plaza near Trocadero Station. Trocadero. The sun is gonna set in about half an hour, so we can't make a good time, and it's not too busy. Anything to say? No. I just take it all in. Okay. There's no stairs to get to the very, very top because I guess the wood pressure is going to be too high since it is an open building. But this is the lineup for the elevators because it's very top. We've only been waiting about 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully, not too much longer. Yeah. 
It's almost sunset. Yeah, I gotta make it for sunset. Eiffel Tower pink. It's for breast cancer. Even had a nice light show going on. It was all sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> 